Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. The internet is going wild over this problem. A book costs one dollar plus half its price. How much does it cost? So how can we solve this problem? First, let's let the variable b denote the cost of the book. This is equal to one plus half its price. In this case, half its price would be b over two. So we have the equation b is equal to one plus b over two. We need to solve this equation for b. We will subtract b over two from both sides of the equation to get b over two is equal to one. Then multiply both sides of the equation by two to get that b is equal to two. Therefore, the book costs two dollars, and that is without a doubt the correct answer to this question as it was originally intended. I'm going to elaborate why I know that was the original intent a little bit later, but for now I'm just going to share some results about how people solved the problem. About three years ago, I posted a poll on YouTube for this very question. I said, "What do you guys think? What is the correct answer?" So I was very happy that the correct answer of two dollars was answered as the most common answer at about fifty-five percent. Most people were able to get the correct answer. What about the other answer choices? The next common answer was the value cannot be determined at twenty-eight percent. Then we had one dollar and fifty cents at fifteen percent, and finally a few people said one dollar. So where did these other answers come from? The answer of one dollar could have just been any sort of mathematical mistake. It could have also just been a mistake in reading comprehension. Someone might have just read a book costs one dollar. Period. There are all sorts of ways you could have gotten this answer, but it is not the correct answer. It would be hard to justify. Now, what about one dollar and fifty cents? This is a common mistake. Many people might get the equation that a book costs one dollar plus half its price. They would translate that into b is equal to one plus one over two, mistaking that one as the price. So you would get that b is equal to one point five dollars. Finally, we have the next most popular answer of the value cannot be determined. So what were people saying here? So one thing that people would say is that price and cost are two different concepts. I'm with you there. In addition to the math major that I had at Stanford, I also did a degree in economics. You might also know that I've written some books that are bestsellers on Amazon. So certainly I know the difference between how much it costs to produce a book and how much. The listing price of a book is. However, a little bit of knowledge can also be dangerous, because these concepts are not actually confusing in the context of this question. Let's look back at the wording of this question. We have a book cost one dollar plus half its price. In this case, cost is used as a transitive verb, and if you look up the definition, it would refer to the price of a book. Then we have how much does it cost? If you look at the definition of cost, it is very commonly used interchangeably with price. In fact, if you were to go to the Super Bowl, you might say that the ticket cost was very expensive. But you're not referring to the cost of producing the electronic or paper ticket. You are referring to the price that someone would pay for a ticket. So, in the context of this question, if you were to think price and cost would be two different things, you would probably be overthinking it on a level that doesn't merit the qualifications. Now, another objection to this question is that it's intentionally written for social media to spark up clickbait and to spark up debate. How dare they write such questions when you're trying to educate people about mathematics? And you're competing with all the other great entertaining things on YouTube. How dare you do such a thing? Well, let me get to why this question actually isn't like that. The origin of this question is from a book called *The Moscow Puzzles*. 
It was originally written in 1956 in the Soviet Union, and it actually became a bestseller with over a million copies sold. Just imagine a puzzle book of mathematical problems selling over a million copies. It's almost unimaginable that something like that could exist today. But in those days, maybe people actually cared about mathematical skills. This book was translated into English in 1972, and this was the exact wording. This question actually is problem 37 from Moscow Puzzles. A book costs $1 plus half its price. How much does it cost? So this is well before any of us were on social media or the internet or anything like that. All I ever hear is that back in the day, there were strong editorial standards. You couldn't just write something on a blog or scream something on Twitter or social media. You actually had authors who crafted every word very carefully. So I would say it is N-O-T, not an intentionally confusing wording. It is just a question that was understood in practice and in context. Price and cost can be used interchangeably as it was in this sentence. So in conclusion, the book actually says the answer is $2. So we can say this is not a question that's meant to be confusing at all. It is just a question that people can find confusing. There's a big difference between the two things. So in summary, I would say that $2 is without a doubt the answer as it was originally intended. And it is also the answer that most people give anyway just reading this question. Now I did the original survey three years ago, and just for fun, I did a survey again to see if attitudes had changed in the last three years. To my pleasant surprise, 61% of people gave the answer of $2. This is an increase of about 10% from three years ago. It seems like we're making progress in understanding this question. The next answer of the value cannot be determined has decreased from 28% to 22%. So that would be a big decrease in the number of people who think it's ambiguous or that it was just written as something that's clickbait. We are still stubbornly stuck at about 15% of people who say the answer is $1.50. So there's still room for improvement that we can still get everybody to get the correct answer. So while this is a very simple question that went popular on the internet, I'm glad it gave us a chance to discuss various facets of mathematics and various things in understanding this word question. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.